Good evening, uh, Elizabeth and Martial. Welcome to today's class. How are you today? It was okay, teacher. What about you? It was really great. Thank you for asking. I had a very, very good day today. It was amazing. And the, the very best thing, no traffic. <laughs> really? Yes, because I, I, I pick up my son really early at three and then I run home. <laughs> I, I think it was the, 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 the hour. Yeah, because it was like around three. What about you? Did you get stuck in traffic today? Today it was normal. A normal day. Yeah. Well, normal is, is it's something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But this, uh -huh. this morning and this morning in Los Chorros, it was um, terrible. The traffic was terrible. I heard I heard news that there was a, an accident, a uh, oil spill, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yes, a so big problem is uh, too too many lorries and buses traveling and to that street, so uh, that increases the the issues that we have every day here. It's it's like a never ending thing. I think that that street is, is on the news every single day. And the rest of you, how was your day? Marilyn, Elizabeth, Aymara, Jose, William? Did you have a good day? A little day, but I'm good. You're really tired. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you have a chance to rest maybe during the weekend or you work in the weekends too. Oh, over the weekend too. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, you need to make yeah, some arrangements. In, in the yesterday and I couldn't. You couldn't sleep? It. Yeah. Oh my God, you should be really tired. It's important to get good sleep. Yeah. Yeah, but try to well, do the chance. I'm good. Okay, that's nice. But yes, do the chance. Do do the chance. Um, maybe you can omit some activities in order to get some more sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad to hear that you're tired, but you're okay. You're healthy. Thank you. That's good. Okay, so um. Alexander is going to be just listening. Thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, we're going to start the class. Let me start sharing the screen with you. Okay. Yesterday we were practicing some vocabulary and we left just two, um, two of the slides left without working. Uh, so we're going to start from them. So we we missing this discussion about social networking debate. It's, um, and we have first pay work and then group work. Um, well, the pay work, I think is going to be individual because um, we have many people just like listeners. And um, so, yes, we're, it, it, it is not like very difficult to form pairs. Uh, in a breakout rooms, I think it's not going to work because I can make breakout rooms of two. But if you get in a group or a pair that is listening, so it's not gonna work. So we're going to do the part eight individually. And let's read. Do you think social networking sites are a positive or negative influence? Find a partner who has the same opinion. Well, we're going to write our own opinion and then we're going to see if someone else in the group in the main section has the same opinion. What do you think about the social networking sites? 
Are they positive or negative influence? So write down your ideas if, if it's necessary and you see that the green, um, the green letter, this is an example. The way I see it, social networking sites are positive influence because they allow me to have friends all over the world. And here in the green, uh, in the green chart, we have some useful expressions that can help you um, on writing your ideas. We have, if you ask me, and then you start explaining uh, your point of view. Or you can start by saying the way I see it. If we are expressing the opinion as, as it is the exercise that we're going to be working on. If you are disagreeing in the, yeah, when we're, um, in a deba debate, so you say that might be true, but and you state your point. I see your point, but and you start giving your own point of view. If you're giving reasons, you can um, use the expressions such as that's why, or the reason for that is, and you start giving your reasoning. And that is going to help us in part B and well, useful expression. If expressing opinions can help us in part A too. I'll give you time for you to write your ideas about what do you think about social networking, positive or negative influence. I'll give you two minutes and then we share our opinion. Hey, have you finished writing your opinion about networking sites? Not yet, sir. Not yet? Okay, I'll give you more time.
teacher we just create a right um, opinion. Yes, you write your opinion about part eight. What do you think about social networking? If uh, they are positive or negative? You uh, finished that part? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, great. I think that most of you are ready. So we're going to do the part B. We're going to make a breakout room and you're going to share your opinion, what you did in part A, okay? Share your opinion about uh, social networking sites, if they are positive or a negative influence. So for example, I can say, I think that social networking sites are a negative influence um they show people doing any kind of stupid things like challenges and things like that that um it is just a waste of time etc cetera, etc cetera. and maybe you can say um that might be true but some people also use the uh, social networking uh, to make a positive impact which um they may be contain their content is um aimed to make um i don't know um awarenesses about the environment or they are um they are um making content to educate people to help people to teach people how to do uh different kinds of things like for example cooking or speaking another language etc cetera, etc cetera to give your opinion if you find something who disagrees with you. Yes, is it uh, clear? Or not really clear? What do you think if I say, I think that they are negative influence? I think it's a waste of time. Um, social networking for me is a waste of time. It, does everybody agree with me? Probably not. Probably you have a different opinion. So you can say, I see your point, but there are many people for many influencers that create content aimed to teach people to do different things, such as, for example, speaking a second language or handicraft, um, exercises to keep healthy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you your point, yes? Okay, I think it's clear. So you, you don't say yes or no. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms and I'm going to join you in case that you have any questions. Good 
Hello, good evening, partners. Hello, good evening. Are you ready? I grow my opinion. You want, I can share it. Okay. okay. What's your opinion? Is, about do you think, social networking? Uh -huh. Do you think social networking sites are a positive or negative influence? Well, in my way of thinking, or well, the way I see it, um, social networking sites are a positive influence. This can help us connecting with people abroad, around the world, and bring us a powerful tool to communicate, uh, learn about cultural variety. Uh, on the other hand, it could be dangerous, um, wrong hands, if you are in an early age or uh, give to you an overload of stimuli that can change your brain in a few known ways. Uh, likewise, there are a lot of predators online, so you need to navigate carefully. So, uh, but I I think that maybe it has more advantage than uh, disadvantage. What do you think? I think that it's impossible to disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know. Totally I can't agree. imagine. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the world without social network. Maybe. Um, Nowadays, uh, it uh, it has changed a lot of things and uh, ways uh, in that uh, well we are we make things or we hold the ways that we communicate with others. Yeah, everything is uh, really fast. Um, it can it can come beyond borders and yeah you don't know who is going to hear you yeah. absolutely yes uh, excellent alex excellent your um the way that you express your idea was really clear and you used connector, which is excellent. You made a very good use of the connector. So thank you so much for sharing your uh, your opinion and congratulations. You uh, so your ideas were um, really clear and well connected. I totally agree with you. It's a powerful tool. It has made our life easier in many ways, but. It, Yes, the other side, in the other hand, it is as powerful as dangerous, especially for children. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, teacher, I think that the social network inside become a negative influence because it could it could become an addiction. In fact, uh, people who use uh, social networking for a long time, they often create addiction. Yes, that, that, uh, that's uh -huh. my point. That's your point of view, and it is totally valid. And in some way, um, Alex, what do you think? <laughs> the idea. You speak, not for me to speak. <laughs> Practice your speaking. Yeah, I don't know. It's like everything in the life, I guess, that uh, with the overload of that, uh, if you do something many times uh, every day, it will be an uh, everything. It will be equal. Uh, it could, uh, 
convert it in an addiction, yeah. Uh, like uh, like some games uh, or video games or let's see. I don't know and there are even people that are addicted to exercise uh, or this kind of thing, yeah, like, or even things that uh, look maybe inoffensive, like coffee or some kind of food that even it could be worse, maybe, <laughs> yeah, for your health. Excellent. Yes, absolutely. And I I couldn't disagree with you, Magdiel. I, I totally agree. I think that it can well it is it is good. It it has plenty of advantages. But one of the negative aspects about social networking is that it might become um a habit. People might get addicted to it, and uh, instead of, well, it happens. It happened to me um, when I was working from home, and um, I was um, um, at the night shift in a call center, and um, it, it was like a weird to get a call during that time. And so I got bored and I started to watch videos on uh, social media instead of stretching, standing up, stretching, or doing any kind of activity. Instead of that, I, I was checking videos. So, uh, and then uh, I couldn't stop. Every time I have a, a chance, I was checking videos instead of doing um another thing, something uh, more productive or et cetera. So yes, it might become a, um, a bad habit to be checking on those uh, content. Anybody else in the group? We have, uh, El well, Elizabeth It's just listening. Aymara, Emerson. Yes, teacher, I am. I agree with you, and I think too. If if you can can't control the use of social networking, that could be could be dangerous. I uh, I know that, and um, it's a good tool for or work and like a work, work office, home office, sorry, home office. Um, home I think it's a work from home. Uh huh. But I think uh, we need, uh, we need to have a, a, a control it. Self-control. Yes. yes. Yes, we need to have self-control. What I did is I uninstalled those apps from my cell phone device. So I uninstalled them and then I said, okay, I'm going to get them back. But now I check them just for um, educational purposes. Like if I have something which is going to be useful for me in the teaching field, um, that's the only type of content that I see. And also videos about dogs. <laughs> I like those too. That's uh that's my weakness. And um anybody else? Emerson, Aymara. Nobody else? Okay, I think that we will close the breakout room since the rest of the people here didn't um, share ideas. They are probably just listening. I don't know.
Okay, thank you, Alex and Magdia. Thank you so much. See you in the main section. Thank you, teacher. Thanks, teacher. See you. All right, to finish with this um, exercise and this topic, um, we're going to continue with this discussion. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Do you recall the tag questions? They are being applied here. So individually, because in pair, well, it would be just Alex and Magdiel, so. Uh, we're going to do this individually. Do you agree or disagree with these opinions and why? We have five opinions here. Volunteer to read the first one. It says million. I will read. Maybe. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Ali. Okay. And millions of people are addicted to online games these days. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Great. Thank you so much. Volunteer for the next one. Don't you find it? Okay, I will read it. Don't you find it annoying that social networking sites sell your personal information to marketers? Next, opinion, volunteer. Wouldn't it be great? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdia. I'm going to read. Okay. Thank you. That's so kind of you. And uh, the wouldn't it one. be? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Wouldn't it be great if the internet were turned off on day a week to give people people a chance to rest? Sounds like a great idea. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Magdiel. Okay. Uh, volunteer for the next one. Don't you think? Volunteer to read the next opinion. The purple teacher. Yes, thank you, Marilyn. Okay. Don't you think a lot of people are being confused by misinformation of the internet? Excellent. Thank you so much for reading. That's a kind of you. Thank you, Marilyn. And the last one, volunteer. The yellow one. And in kids today being exposed to too much information on television and the internet. 
Okay, thank you so much for reading, uh, Marilyn, Magdiel, and Alex. So uh, we have five opinions here. Now we have to write about each of them if and state our point. Do you agree or disagree with these opinions and why? So for example, in the first one, you might say, okay, um, I agree with this because nowadays um, uh, people are so addicted to online games that they rather to stay uh, playing games rather than uh, speaking with the family, etc. So maybe they are family gatherings and I see that uh, people is playing video games instead of being a uh, uh, talking to their relatives and etc. So, and and that's very sad because it, it's time that is uh, supposed to be spent with family to share with family and people are playing games online. So that is uh, really really sad, and that's my opinion. And you might say, yeah, but it's it's a way to um maybe to escape of uh of an uncomfortable family gathering. So you have the option to play games online, etc. Then you state your points. So I'll give you time for you to write down your ideas and then we're going to discuss them.
finish writing your point of view about the five opinions there. Not yet. Not yet? Okay.
Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and then I'm going to check attendance. And after that, we're going to go to breakout rooms to complete the work, group work. One second to get the file and ready. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Alexander López. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Artudis Aymara Vaquerano. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calisto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. José Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Matías Saúl García. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Present. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, William Alexander Rosales. Emerson, thank you. I see you wrote here in the meeting chat. Okay, uh, we will complete the next part in the group work. What other problems are caused by modern information technology? Agree on the three most pressing problems and tell the class. Uh, first, we're going to share what we wrote about part A. If you agree or disagree with the opinions here and the reason as to why. And then we're going to complete the part B. What other problems are caused by modern information technology? Um, we have one example here. Uh, it's, um, don't you think kids today spend too much time online? Won't their grades and social development suffer because of it? You might be right, but their parents should set limits from there. Shouldn't they? I agree with that. Well, let's move to break up room.
Let me know if you can see. Yes, you can see. Okay. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, our opinion. Yes, of the next slide, the number three. The number three. Yes, that one. Uh, part B. Uh, first, you're going to do the part A. For example, do you agree or disagree with the first opinion? Millions of people are addicted to online games this day. Isn't it kind of sad, isn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or disagree with that opinion? Let me see. Millions of people are addicted to online games this day. It's kind of sad. It's, I I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Why? I know many people that they play video games and. Almost a day complete. The whole day. They, yeah, they, they they play every day. Keep video game like Call of um, Call of Duty. Um, I don't know. There are more more games but i know many people play and plays a lot of a lot of time mm -hmm. they waste a lot of time they do not socialize with people around them and uh, probably is free time that they could invest of doing um, exercises or um, any other activity who can uh, which can benefit their health they are they're just playing video so yes yeah uh, yes and <clears throat> if is we meeting with they with their uh, each one have have um, our cell phone cell phone and no, no social with us. Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah, so that's what you have to do. Um, say, I agree with this because this and this and that, and you state your opinions. It is um, just um, maybe someone in the group can read and say, well, this is my opinion. What about you, um, Alex, or... Elizabeth, and you state your opinions, either if you agree or disagree, you have to explain the reasons as to why. And then you can discuss as a group what other problems are caused by modern information technology. Because there are more. Um, some other, for example, it can be... Um, uh, well, it says, yes, misinformation. They mention um, people is addicted to games online. Uh, the theft of personal information. Um, that they are exposed, uh, kids are exposed to too much information on television and the internet. Uh, besides all those. What other uh, problems can you mention that are caused by modern information technology? That is the part B. So first in part A, read and share your opinion and state why. 
And then in part B, you have to add some other issues that are caused by modern information. Okay, thank you, Char. You're what welcome. do you think, uh, classmate, about this one? Uh, well, um, with the first one, uh, I agree. I think that everybody whom the addictions have caught are in a daily fight against themselves it is a difficult situation um, it's uh, maybe really important to uh, make awareness of this uh, to try to uh, evict, evict. educate educate yeah, uh, to educate, to try to uh, um, not uh, fall in this situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that, it, it that's must, very important. Uh -huh, Matthew? Yeah, I think that it's most commonly in younger people. In young people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it, it's it's very common in young people, and it's very sad to see that problem in elderly people. <laughs> yes. yes, it's kind of sad because we are supposed to be old school, <laughs> so we 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 shouldn't have that kind of issues, but some people do. Yes, and it's how do you really say, sad. teacher? Mm -hmm. How do you say um uh cuando el internet o cuando las redes sociales tuvieron más auge? Auge, how do you say in English? Uh trend. Trend. Trend, uh huh. Trend. T R E N D. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think Yeah, uh, when they when they were a trend. I think many people wanted to have a, like a, the highest amount of followers or friends. So they accepted anyone <laughs> invitation or a request to uh, follow and, and they accepted and that, those dangers. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it was like a competition. Who had more followers or friends? Uh, and yes, when when they were uh, when the social media uh, were trendy. Uh -huh. So you say it's a trend. When that's como el noun, y el adjective is like trendy. 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 Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, about the uh, other problems, I think uh, that nowadays there is a lot of inform information available available to anyone. Just one click away. Yes, I think that there should be a law or a punishment or a fine for those people who sell our personal information to marketers. Yes. Because that, that is, that's not okay. That's not uh, funny to be receiving emails about services, promotions, or things that you didn't ask for and you're not even interested in. So yes, it, it shouldn't be. They shouldn't do that. And the, the things that they sell your information, like your email address to marketers. So they, they are making profit of it. Okay, next thing. Alex, what do you think? 
Then you find an OE that social networking sites sell your personal information to marketers? Well, I disagree. I think that this is something that the most of the people have ignored ever because, uh, well, most of the time we don't upload any information we don't want to share. Uh, if you don't, you should you shouldn't upload it in this kind of platform uh, because uh, well in well on internet you you don't know um, where is your information going to uh, how that information it could be storage or use it. Uh, so you need to be carefully in all sides of internet. Um, maybe um, it could be something annoying, but it's something that, well, is something normal on internet, I think. Yes, it's, it's really normal. That, that practice is quite frequent and normal on the internet that they, they sell your personal information, your email address, and uh, it's part of our day or day. Yeah. But there should be a law. There should be uh -huh. a law that prohibit those people and stop them from doing that. Mm -hmm. Many professionals say that even, well, if uh, something is free, you pay with your information. Uh, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I really hate um, the, 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 these people from the Cameron, right? They, they put, um, well, they have someone in, uh, at the mall um, and they reach out to you and saying, oh, you're going to participate in a raffle for uh, two nights and three days uh, for free at the camera with you and your family. All you need to mm -hmm. do is to fill out this, um, this form with your information, name, email, address. Mm -hmm. And they, they just getting your information. And then the next day, you have thousands of emails from them, from the camera and all uh, any other kind of um, businesses or, um, I, I don't know, um, yeah, businesses or people offering trainings that you didn't request for or you're not even interested on why. Because of I think that this is an part of our business right it's not that they are um it's not in fact that you're participating in a raffle i guess they are doing this just to get your information and sell it i think so that's uh, what i think i had a similar situation teacher and you know, gas station mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, one people said me you want to to participate in a raffle and uh, I just complete, uh, just fill a coupon. coupon. Yes, mm -hmm. coupon with my number, cell phone. Cell phone number, uh huh? At the next day, at the next day, I had received a call. Hey, you, you, you aren't uh, uh, like, like you. Two, two days and one night with your wife in a resort. <laughs> but I, I, I think, but I, it was a lie. Yes, it, it's a lie. And they also invite you to a free meal at, at, at that place. Uh, yeah, at that place. Uh, beach hotel they invite you to a they say a free meal um, and you can go with someone else that can be your wife and then when you attend to the to that free meal they 
they uh, they insist and they know that you buy the membership that you pay the membership and you felt so uncomfortable and they insist on that they push you to buy the membership from that hotel and i, I think that, that they they shouldn't do that it's not a good place <laughs> either um so yes, and uh, other thing that they do is, uh, yes, at gas stations, I remember a couple of years ago, maybe four or five, um, they they say that they are uh, that you can participate in a raffle of thousand of turkeys, a uh, thousand of glasses, or and the the first prize is like a car and something like that. And we purchase um a high amounts of gasoline every week, and we never, never want um even a glass. <laughs> we just gave your information away. Yes, so that's they shouldn't do that. And that's how your personal information end up in marketers' hands. Now, let's discuss the number three. Well, the third one, the green. Wouldn't it be great if the internet were turned off one day a week to give people a chance to rest? What do you think and why? That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why? Um, because uh, there are any place um, doesn't have a um, signal for the cell phone without internet. Yes, uh, many tourists. It's for me. It's it's a good place. I think that could be a a moment if if a day. Um, have a have a day without without internet. Yes, people will be forced to socialize. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's good. Uh, anybody else? What's your opinion? Well, uh... The way I see it, um, I disagree, maybe just because I work using it <laughs> uh, with internet, I wouldn't have <laughs> any work. So <laughs> it is something necessary, not just for me. I, I know that maybe there are a lot of professions that, um, uh, that, uh, so where you're... it's necessary the internet uh, or is something uh, primary. Uh, so I think that maybe in many ways it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so your, your work depends on the internet connection. Yeah. Okay, do you work in a call center? <laughs> Uh, no, well, I work as programmer, uh, so a computer we're programmer? on the internet. Or Sorry? a software? What do you yes, program? Software, software programmer uh -huh. or software developer. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Many of us would be in, in troubles, right? Um, I worked in a call center until January this year, so I quit. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, there was one day that I didn't have access to internet the whole day. The whole mm -hmm. day. Yes, because I think that people from Tigo were working nearby, so, and um, I explained them, I sent them the, um, links from the news on um, 
uh, on Twitter, et cetera. And I said, this is, and I also send the, the when you call to the company, the your internet provider or the electricity provider, and you said, hey, I'm having issues, they give you a report number. Mm -hmm. So I gave them, uh, I gave that report number to, um, I, I proved them in many ways that I didn't have access to the intern the whole day. And they said, okay, so you need to replenish that time. And I said, no way, please uh, take it out from my salary make me a discount or, or discount it from my salary, discount that day. I'm not going to pay with mm -hmm. time. <laughs> That's <laughs> going to be too much. And mm -hmm. they, they didn't accept. They said, no, you have to pay with time. So that's something I didn't like. And it, it affected me because I had uh, like working for 10 to 12 hours for a week just to replenish one day that I didn't have access to internet. That mm -hmm. was kind of unfair. So I think that it, it sounds good. The idea sounds good, but mm -hmm. many people would be affected like you and mm -hmm. some other people who depends on the internet access. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, anybody else from the group? Or only Alex and Magdiel are practicing and improving that's nice and the rest of you are just listening because your work i think that someone worked here in the chat well um next don't you think a lot of people are being confused by misinformation on the internet what do you think Uh, well, I totally agree. Uh, nowadays, there is a lot of misinformation on the internet, and a lot of people who support it. Uh, even in the USA, uh, it was a uh, a case where well, the politicians support the misinformation to. Uh, give them advantage in their elections. <laughs> so it, it is something very powerful, uh, something that you need to be careful. Yes, the, the misinformation and the internet can lead to um, serious consequences. Mm -hmm. What about you, Magdia? Uh, sorry, teacher. What was the question? The number four. Don't you think a lot of people are being confused by misinformation on the internet? Mm. I agree, teacher. Okay. Why? Because um, a lot of information could be changed chain or false information. Um, that could be a, a reason that many, many people are confusing. Yes, but there is um, uh, plenty of misinformation that can make people um, uh, get into confusions and misunderstanding and leading to serious consequences, yeah. Okay, yes. uh, and the last one, can you read the last one? Yes. <clears throat> Aaron Kidd today 
being exposed to too much information on television, on the inter internet. What do you think, Alex? Uh, well, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that um, the kids are uh, truly exposed uh, with a lot of information and maybe useful. Um, in these cases, I may be, um, I may be give uh, like an advice uh, schedule the time that the kids are uh, exposed to the cell phones or television or another kind of this entertainment. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about you, Martia? I agree because I think um, the kids uh, nowadays the the kids um, are are exposed to too much information. Um, they they prefer watch TV or, or play video games um, use internet uh, that do other other things yes rather than doing other things of course and then uh, I think that yes they are too uh, they, they are exposed to too much information um, as on television as well as on internet and um, in many cases that is on unappropriate information in unappropriate content that is not intended for kids but they are displaying that kind of unappropriate content on the familiar schedules so uh, that is a very serious situation And then the last part is what other problems are caused by modern information technology? We have discussed it uh, about addiction, uh, uh, the theft of personal information, about resting of uh, the internet connection and uh, misinformation. And the last one is the uh, kids exposure to that kind of information on the internet as well on television. What other consequences or what other problems, I'm sorry, what other problems are caused by modern technology? Did you, um, did you write any? Or you need time? Yeah, a little thing. Okay, sure, no problem. I think it's very easy um get information uh, anywhere. Uh huh. Just and one, what, just one click. Uh huh. Yes, and what other problems are caused by modern information? Besides, um, besides the uh, online games for people getting addicted to it, etc. What others? Let's think about that, and then we share. Also, um, mm -hmm. any children? when play video games and that need pay for for game they use uh, credit card numbers to buy access 
This mm -hmm. is a very, this is danger. Yes, there have been cases of kids stealing uh, credit card information from parents in order to buy uh, video games online. They get addicted to video games. Very good. Let's think in some others. Maybe um, there are many people that have depression, maybe because of the disconnection of the reality that bring us the well, the all the entertainment or sites uh, where we spend time on internet. Yes, people. Uh, people may. Uh, yes, find depression because of the contents that are displayed in those kind of uh, sites. So yes, you you you're right. And um, like many times, and in many cases, those are uh, false, right? A false content. People pretending that they are millionaires. And uh, and then people feel like ah oh, I would like to have that but I'm living in this misery <laughs> and yes so you're right any other I think that there are some um, besides those that we already mentioned, um, other problems that can be caused by modern information technology might be like uh, related to health. So, for example, um, nowadays many young uh, people uh, wear glasses because they spend too much time in front of a screen, a, a TV screen, a cell phone screen, a laptop screen, you name it. So they are damaging uh, their sight, leading to the need of wearing glasses. That's one of them. And uh, also people, instead of, um, exercising they they have lost the interest uh for healthy activities outdoor activities uh exercising since they find more comfortable to lay in the sofa watching any type of um modern intern uh, information technologies contents and things like that but i think that it's it's also uh, dangerous for health. Yes, teacher, I agree with you. Okay, thank you so much for your opinion. And well, uh, I think that with this, we finish this slide. Uh, we're going to move to the main section to work a little bit more on vocabulary from the um, student's book. See you there. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for your participation you. and your opinion.
All right, to continue with our topics, we're going to work on the building vocabulary exercise. This is on page 34 of your material, and this is related to brand awarenesses. It says uh, building vocabulary, brand awarenesses is the ability of customer to identify your brand by its attributes. The following are some stages of a brand awareness. Uh, match the stages of a brand awareness to their description. We have the stages, number one, brand recall, number two, recognition, number three, top of mind, number four, brand dominance, and number five, unknown brand. Those are the, con the concepts and the definitions are here at the right side hand of the chart. So we have to match the concept with the definition. Let's try to do it. I'll give you some minutes. Okay, let's check. Number one, brand recall. A customer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Excellent. That's correct. Let's see. Number two, recognition. Uh, the last one can be customers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Excellent. Q. Yes, cue. 
Number three, top of mind. I think is the, the first brand customers can think of for a product category. Mm -hmm. So then number one. I think number one is a customer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Yes, sounds good. Number four. Um, customers can recall any brand but your but yours for a particular product category. Yes. And the last one, number five, should be here. Mm -hmm. Customers don't recognize your brand. That's correct. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Those are the correct answers. See here. Brand recall. Uh, consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Number two, recognition. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product with just a visual cue. Number three, top of mind, the first brand customer can think of for a product category. Four, brand dominance is a customer can't recall any brand but yours for a particular product category. Finally, number five, unknown brand. Customer don't recognize your brand. Thank you so much for sharing your answers. Um, now it is time to stop. So I hope that you sleep well, rest a lot, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night.